As we start off with the conversations this morning, Bank Fintuk Cancer Apple Project has grown into one of Namibia's largest and longest running fundraising initiatives. Schools, customers, corporates and other entities buy apples to raise funds for the Cancer Association of Namibia. Now, to date, the project has raised a total of $35 million with the funds donated to the Cancer Association of Namibia for outreach programs, pro bono cancer screening, and educational activities across all 14 regions in Namibia. Joining us right now this morning to give us more details on that is the longest as well as the largest fundraising initiative. We're joined by Jacqueline Pack, who is the Executive Marketing and Corporate Communications Officer that is, of course, both for Bank Fintuk, as well as Rolf Hansen to shed more light on a number of key community questions. And Mr. Hansen is the Chief Executive Officer of that is the Cancer Association of Namibia. Rolf, Jacqueline, good morning. Good morning. good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, thanks for having us as well. All right. Perhaps we can start with you, Jacqueline. Mm -hmm. I mentioned that this is the longest <laughs> as well as the largest, you know, fundraising initiative back then. I remember back then when I was in school, I'm not sure, grade four. We used to give like $3 and then we get, or $2 and then we get like this big red apples. Yeah. And this is definitely, um, this, this fundraising project is definitely not <clears throat> a stranger to many Namibians. But for yes. those of our viewers who are watching this morning and they perhaps just have no clue or are not aware of the project, can you just give us a little bit, a yes. little bit of background? Yes. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So the um, Cancer Apple Project is one of the flagship um, CSR initiatives for Bank Bantuk. And you are right to your point, it's been in existence for 24 years. Can wow. you imagine? Yes. So um, we aim to, to fundraise, um, do fundraising mm -hmm. uh, for cancer in Namibia um, together with the Cancer Association. For the next seven weeks, we'll be busy um, creating awareness about cancer and raising much needed funds, giving hope to patients that are in desperate need of treatment and care. All right. Yes. Uh, Rolf, I'm sure you're confronted with the question of where does the money go to like on a regular <laughs> basis? Can I just provide our viewers with an overview of how the funds raised through the Bank Fintuk Cancer Apple Project are applied? So I think one of the greatest challenges that we face, and even during the, the news interview um, or the news slot earlier that we just watched in the green room, the current process of procurement of medicine, for instance, has a challenge. Yeah. And very often cancer patients knock at our doors at the Cancer Association, please help us with financial assistance. We need to travel to Vintuk for yeah. treatment. Yeah. We need to, to have co-payments paid, very especially mm -hmm. right now, we need to buy medicine. Can you help us with medicine? So we have a financial assistance program where <coughs> the Cancer Association assists uh, cancer patients, financially vulnerable cancer patients. And then I think our big, also our joint flagship program mm. is the National Cancer Outreach Program, where we travel to all the regions of the country to create awareness, to educate, and to do screenings, um, to capacitate also our local Ministry of Health and Social Services uh, clinics in the regions. So they are equipped with the skills to identify when there is a possible cancer scare, to refer timely through mm -hmm. to Vintuk Central, and that we can take hands to help these patients get screened, diagnosed, and treatment start as early as possible. Amazing, all with the help of this whole yeah. initiative. Now, we do understand that Bank Vintuk recently launched the Bank Vintuk Cancer Apple Association 2024. Can you just talk to us yeah. about how our viewers mm -hmm. can support this whole initiative? Yes. So we launched on the 24th of July, mm -hmm. um, and in line with our recently um, brand campaign that we launched um, recently, um, um, it's called, Is It Possible to Love a Bank? We have also mm -hmm. adapted the same theme. Is it possible theme. to love a bank? It is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and we have adopted the same theme. Is it, um, um, is it, um, sorry, mm -hmm. <laughs> is it possible to impact a life? Yeah. And that will be our campaign for the Cancer Apple Project for this year. Um, as you will know, all our branches are geared up to sell apples, to take orders. 
Um, so the other um, channel that we have also introduced is the eApple platform, our website, on eapple.bankventuk.com.na. And also through the schools. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm sure a lot of the parents will get those uh, donation slips very soon to complete and to support the project. All right. I just need to ask, where do you guys get the big red apples from? <laughs> <laughs> it's through our partner, uh -huh. um, uh, Fruit and Veg. All right. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Well, Mr. Rolf, cancer diagnoses over the past few years have significantly increased. Would you perhaps be just able to give us some insight on the most prevalent um, cancers in Namibia that people are mostly diagnosed with? Yes. <clears throat> I think the biggest challenge we have right now still remains breast cancer is increasing at an alarming rate. Cervical cancer used to be the top third cancer in our country, but thanks to the efforts of the Ministry of Health and Social Services through the National Cervical Cancer Plan, we have started to address <coughs> that challenge. But breast um, and prostate cancer amongst our men are rising at an alarming rate. We've also found that first world Western cancers, so your colorectal, lung, lymphomas, they're starting to rear its head as well. It's got a lot to do with lifestyles. Yeah. Um, right now, we're seeing on average between 3,000 and 3,300 new cancer cases being diagnosed in Namibia. It's a huge jump. Traditionally, mm -hmm. even a year ago when we mm. sat here, it was about 2,700 on average. Yeah. And it's just leaped. So um, there, is a, there is a looming crisis when it comes to cancer in our country. Sure. Lifestyle, behavioral factors, obviously mm. a big challenge. Um, Hereditary factors must be researched. We mm -hmm. do understand mm -hmm. that there are hereditary factors within certain of our communities, but um, awareness needs to be created yeah. now more than ever and screening so that we can actually get to those breast and prostate cancer cases that are mm -hmm. just skyrocketing. Yes. Yeah, so it is a challenge. Amazing. Now, speaking of screening, what is the process one needs to follow to go for screening? Mm -hmm. So the challenge was our field is that you have more than 300 different types of cancers and each one has a different diagnostic modality that we use. It is not like malaria or tuberculosis where it's a one-size-fits-all test mm. um, and that's why it's very challenging for us. Mm -hmm. So when we have a breast situation you will find that um, someone you will have to do self-breast examination. Yes. So that is the most important this morning, ladies at home, do your breast examination, self-breast examination. If you do find a lab, then you contact us or your local clinic. Um, and when we are in the regions as Cancer Association, or like right now, mm -hmm. the Ministry of Health has a screening yeah. campaign in the Omaheke region, <coughs> please go out. Cervical cancer is a VIA, mm -hmm. pap smear, a cytology yeah. screening, a cervix screening. So different methodologies, but the most important thing is if you feel mm -hmm. you are unwell mm -hmm. and the symptoms do not go away, don't just pop a panado. <laughs> go and get medical advice. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. we underestimate our bodies. Yeah. We can heal ourselves very well. Mm -hmm. But if it is a persistent lump or bump or pain or that you're lethargic all of a sudden. These are mm. common symptoms and signs that says your body's in distress. We need to have it checked out. All right. Jacqueline, that was a mouthful, but perhaps <laughs> just to lighten it up, but yeah. perhaps any exciting competitions that are following part of the Bank Think to Cancer Apple Project okay. 24 of the year for this year that yes. Namibians can perhaps look forward to? Yes. So we're definitely excited. Um, this year we'll be giving away three um, iPhone 15s Ooh. for all of those that will be um, contributing on our e-Apple platform. Mm -hmm. And then the schools that are participating, uh, pre-school, um, primary school and secondary schools, will be able to uh, win prizes ranging from 7,000 first prize, 5,000 second prize and 3,000 um, third prize. And I think within our branch network at Bank Vantuk as well. What we do on an annual basis, we also give um, some funds to the branches to do entrepreneurial challenges amongst themselves. 
and then the funds that they raise are also added to the pool that we hand over to the Cancer Association of Namibia. All right. So it's quite exciting. All right. <laughs> now, uh, Jacqueline yes. Rolf, thank you so much for joining us this morning. But perhaps as we close off our discussion, can you just yeah. talk to us as to how the public can support the Bank for Into Cancer Apple Project 2024? All right. So I can just maybe um, add and then uh, Rolf can also... Um, chip in. Mm -hmm. So basically, um, you can order apples at any Bank Bantuk branch. The apple cost is $6. We are also selling apple juice um, for $10. Um, so that one channel that you can use, um, the, there's also the school channel, obviously, mm -hmm. same pricing. And then we have our e-apple platform, which is um, the website where you can purchase um, apples or apple juice, or you can just donate without actually, you know, we call it virtual apple without actually getting a yeah. physical apple. Okay. Um, so those are the channels that are available. Um, and I think also uh, going forward, um, if you are a bank to customer, if you go on your mobile app or internet banking, um, the Apple project has been listed as a beneficiary. So for ease of, you know, of convenience, you can also go onto your Bank Ventuk mobile app or iBank and um, contribute towards this worthy initiative. Amazing. Rolf? <laughs> yeah, I think <clears throat> the most important thing that we must remember is that it's not just buying an apple and getting something back. It's mm -hmm. not a transaction of effect, mm -hmm. but it is a transaction of hope. Yeah. It is buying an apple to help us impact lives, yeah. to save lives. And you started off with asking, where does the money go? We've explained where it goes. And <coughs> just yesterday, we actually closed off the launch of the development of the National Cancer Control Plan for yes. Namibia, a legal document that is critical in paving the way to save lives. What we are trying to achieve is to turn around the direction that cancer is going in our country. We want to save lives, and everyone is affected by this disease, whether white, whether black, whether rich, whether poor, whether old, whether young. We're a diverse nation, different skin colors outside, but we're all still the same inside, and we're Namibians, and we need to stand together now more than ever. So I truly hope that everyone out there will support this project this yeah. year and um, help us also develop the National Cancer Control Plan to help our vulnerable fellow Namibians out there. All right, Rolf Hansen, Jacqueline Peck, thank you so much for joining us this morning and all the best with the rollout of the project. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Great.